Hi, this is Jared with NotYourMama'sKnives.com, and uh, today we are reviewing the new Microtech, Microtech Trudon. Uh, this was their flagship knife in 2006, and they have brought it back into production uh, this spring. It is 2010. Um, I also have a Combat Trudon here that I'm also going to just use to compare this to, uh, though we're not going to talk about it much. There have been some changes to the new Trudon. Um, if I go ahead and pull it out of its sheath here, this is the sheath that it comes with as a standard. It is a standard Microtech sheath. Um, actually, very, very well built. Microtech does a good job with their sheaths. But uh, let's go ahead and look at the Trudon. This is the Trudon, and uh, if we talk about the length, uh, the overall length is just under 7.4 seven, uh, 7 inches, and uh, its closed length is 4.3 inches, roughly. You can see this one here is a double-edged Trudon. It even says so on the blade, which is cool. They added that. So Trudon double-edged, and you can see that this one is also partially serrated. The handle design is somewhat different than it has been in the past. They've added these grooves um, down on the front side and also repeated those same grooves on the back side. If I look at uh, the, uh, the clip, it says Microtech on it. It does come with a glass breaker as a standard. Uh, this one was manufactured in 5 of 2010. And the other cool thing they've done on this is they've put the, uh, the uh, forward and the reverse right there on the, uh, the deployment mechanism. So this is actually the MT138-1. MT138-1 is the SKU on it. Uh, we do sell it on our website, at least for the time that we have it in stock. Like I said, it does come with the sheath. The blade finish on it is diamond-like carbon. And uh, the original blade, I believe, was made out of um, D2 steel, and this one is made of S30V. So a nice improvement in the, in the steel used on the blade. It's going to keep its edge a lot longer, and it's going to stay stronger for you overall. And uh, so there it is. That's the, uh, that's the regular Trudon, and just as kind of a size comparison, I also have a Combat Trudon here. Uh, and this one was made in fall of 2009. You can see Combat Trudon right there, and this is one of our personal knives, so it's fairly well used. But if I go ahead and deploy that, this is one with a Warncliffe blade. But if I set these next to each other, ooh, that was almost bad, all you YouTubers. So here you go. Uh, there we go. You can kind of see the size difference. The Combat Trudon is significantly larger. Uh, the regular Trudon, some people really do prefer over the Ultratech, and we're kind of excited to have it back in. Um, it's just a great, well-built knife. Uh, overall, it's a great size for everyday carry and a very, very strong, uh, very, very strong knife meant for utility and everyday use.